2nd I think yep November 2nd and this is the start of a new weekly reading vlog so welcome 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 hope you guys are having a good day night or evening wherever you guys are at right now and right now my, my reading vlog from last week is exporting right now so show you up today hopefully you'll see that and today I'm dusting my room cleaning it and all that good stuff and doing my laundry and while I'm doing all that, I'm going to try and listen to as much of this as much as I can. So I'm about halfway through. I wish I get a big chunk in it done today. Maybe I get it done today. We'll see. So that is my goal for today. And that's that's it. So I think I have like 11 days on this and then like 13 days on it or something like that around those times. So I need to get it going on that and power through it. So. That's my plan for today, and maybe like film my um, October wrap up. So I do have my books like here. I have them here somewhere. I have them ready for whenever, just for whenever you know. I decide to film it. So that's my plan for today. I will check in with you a little bit later if I have something really big to say or something happens. So again, welcome to another week's reading vlog. I hope you guys are having a lovely day, and I'll see you next update. Hey, it's still Monday, it's late in the day, it's like 3, 19, 3, 20, and I dusted my room, cleaned it, and I also want to show you something else I did. Okay, I have these like little hooks right here, right? Right? Like they didn't like stick before, but like I put like um, water on them really good, and I made them stick. Like my brother, this one stick right here some reason he had it stick really good I don't know how he did it but he did but these two up here weren't sticking so I just put I wetted them with water really really good and I had them stick really good and I put my little book bags that I use for um like sleepovers and stuff so I can hang them right there so at least they're not like in my closet since my closet right here my little wardrobe gets a little it's already stuffed it's stuffed in there I got some clothes in there that's that has stuff in it already that's it's already tight in there anyway so I put some over there and also cleaned up this little corner right here too because I have like two little shirts that I wear sometimes when I go to sleep they're long shirts so and then I also like adjusted this I, these are all my movies like the Marvel movies and then the Batman movies and just some of the trilogies I have like not trilogies but like series I have like Twilight one of the Rings, The Hobbit, Hunger Games, and just some random, some random stuff I like, like Purple Rain, Queen of the Dam, which is my favorite movie of all time, which if you didn't know, you didn't you know, you know now, my favorite horror movie, which is Texas Chainsaw Massacre in the 1973 version, and the Saw movies collected minus, minus like the, the recent one, and all the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, the complete series, minus the sucky one, we're not gonna talk about those in like 2010, I'm not talking about it, mm mm. Anyways, that's basically what I did, and I guess I shifted some of my books on that side pretty good. I guess I could show you that, too. Alright, let's go. Okay, so what happened was, right here, right? These were up on my top shelf up there, but I decided to put them here, because I thought that would be a little bit better, because I want to have a little bit more space on my shelves. So I ended up doing that, and my video still likes boring. It's got like that much to go. I did that and put some books there, and also shifted some books up here. And so I have this empty shelf right here. So whenever this gets filled with more of my Stephen Kings later on down the road, I could put them here, 
and basically I have more room here too so I can put my rest of my TBR book sets on my bed where they need to be and I also shifted that last night too see how that is right there instead of that instead of the Hunger Games trilogy being up they're sitting so I decided to test that out since more of my Shadow Hunter books I'm going to get down the line is going to go right there Especially if they're in that edition, they're going to go there. So that's basically what I did. I kind of dusted, rearranged a bit, and also had my laundry done, so I did that. And that's done and clean. My uniform hung up right there in that little corner. That little corner there. 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 So busy bee today. I think tomorrow I'm going to do my sheets on my bed. Could have done that today, but I already made up my bed, so I didn't want to unmake it up. So, it's, oh, I also filmed my October wrap up just now. So, once that video gets done exporting for a weekly reading vlog, I can put it together. It shouldn't be that long, so it shouldn't export that long either. So, those two videos will be at least together, and I can put up my weekly reading vlog tonight and put up my October TBR tomorrow. So, that'll be nice and fun. Other than that, I think. I don't know if I, I feel like I should have coffee, but it's only like 3 o'clock, 3.30. But I have hard for maybe if I was a mom, do we want coffee now? Maybe she, maybe she's feeling the same, maybe I can get coffee early, so we'll see. That's, that's all I've been doing recently, so I, if anything happens, oh, hang on, yes, it did, something did happen in the book, ooh, okay, this thing, right, turns out there was Oh, I didn't even tell you where I was at. Okay, anyways, I'm at 310 to 311, around that area. I'm at 60% of the way through it, and there was a skimming afoot. There was a, there was a uh, double agent, or there was a, there was just, there was a, there was a semi created foot. The lady, Jessamine, who was in the Herringdale family, at least in the Institute in London, she has been sneaking off with her, with, um, uh, Tesla's brother, whatever his name is, can't think of his name, but she's been sticking up with him and she's been in on the whole Mark Bain thing. Like she's been telling him off secrets so that they were trying to like scam and like trying to, trying to get Legend of Institute taken down, taking takes the whole like Shadowhunters down and all that good stuff. And she ended up like scheming the heck out of everybody. So like, she was telling them all information. They're trying to plant some evidence against Tessa to make sure that she's trying to do do the um do the dark magic so she can go into Silent Silly City to get arrested and all that stuff and I was like, ooh, that's tea. So that big thing did happen in the book, so that's it that's the big thing that happened. And the love triangle's still going on. She ended up kissing all of on Will again, which is like really because she just kissed up all of on uh Jim. So I was like, dang girl, which one do you want? Pick one. You know, this is, this is like, like in the 1800s or something like that, 18-something. Of course, they ain't gonna tell me in this dang, in this dang synopsis, so. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. My mom just wanted to know if our dog Muddy was anywhere here, and I was like, nope. But the big one and the little one are sleeping on their bed, so that's it. And coffee started, so I can have some coffee, but other than that, that's all I've got to say about the big things that's happened in the book. So, that's about it. I think I'm going to just continue on reading and see how far I get into it. See if I can finish it today. Because I think i got like six hours from listening, it, listening to it on two times speed. So, it should be about three hours for me. So, that's all i got to say. I will check in on you a little bit later if something happens or if I finish my book. So, see you in my next update. It's the next day, it's Tuesday, uh, 1.30, as you can see, my sheets are off the bed, my bed's naked, it's being washed, and right now, my October wrap-up is being put together, it's exporting, it's about a little less than halfway there, so it's almost there, and I've been listening to this today, I've only got like two hours in this, so I'll just pick it up in between. But, um, this, 
and I'm about uh, 540 pages in, about in there, so, so we may get page 600 today, possibly, maybe more, and then pick this back up and get to, maybe get to page 400 something in this, so, that's the plan, reading this, get to page 600 something, 600, and then get to page 400 something in this today, so. I have 13 days with this one and 11 days with this one. So, and once I'm done with uh, Clockwork Prince, I can just full force can read it, read it, and I can put all my focus into that. So, I think I got to do my um, November November TBR. So, we'll see if I do that. Honestly. I'll let you know if that happens, so, uh, nothing really big has happened, so, um, nothing really nothing to discuss, so, if anything happens, or if have anything to talk about, I'll let you know, so, see you next update. Hey, it's a little bit later, I don't know if I said anything to you earlier, besides this morning, but it's 5.30, and my bed is all put back together. You can tell and it's on my bed I'm here to tell you that I'm on page 603 so I made, made progress in it I made my, my, my um, destination to the spot I wanted to get to so that's good and my video is still exporting tell me how that is still going. I have no idea why. It's only a 16 minute video, but um, I don't know if I have to stop it and like redo it or something. I don't know. We'll see. But um, that may be up tomorrow because of how long it's taking. We'll see. But uh, so far what's happened is that they're, they've dispersed, the adults have dispersed and they're kind of just figuring out, trying to Retrieving the memory, so that's what they're doing at this point. So, um, Richie Tozier got attacked by it as Paul Bunyan, and uh, Beverly Marsh got attacked by Mrs. Kirsch, and uh, Eddie Kasparov, we haven't seen anything about him yet. Or have we? Yeah, that's it. Because I'm, I'm on Bill right now. Bill right now is talking to the kid on the skateboard right now. So, that's it. We got Eddie to go. Right? Yes, we got Eddie to go to next. So, that's just about what's happened. That's it. And... I have really nothing big to say. Really, I mean, it's... I just went in. I mean, like, I've been chilling out. I was drawing. Not drawing. I was coloring. For a bit. And then I got my sheets out. Put them back together. And now I'm watching Kayla. From books and Lala, so let's do it right now and hang out. And I'm about to eat dinner, so I, I was like, so let you know if my video exports or it's still so. Like, let me see if I can actually show you what it's doing. Like, see that it has like that much to go, but I don't know why it's just. I don't know why. I don't even know if it's moving anymore, but we'll see if uh, we'll see if it actually does the thing it's supposed to do. I'll let you know on that. So I did just want to kind of pop in real quick and say I did have this kind of put up on my shelf today. It's kind of barely just hanging on here, but like the lights up on the top right here, and I kind of I just want to pop in here and say that look how cute they are. I like it. Gives a nice little element to it. I wish that there was more lights on this side because it feels like it just it feels like it's just bare. But you know that's fine. I also have another set, but like I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Maybe I'll just kind of have it over overlap maybe this way and go up that way maybe. We'll see. But I decided to have I have put lights on my bookshelves.
Hey, good afternoon. It's uh, 12.40 in the afternoon on Wednesday, and I have some updates for you. Um, I finished Clockwork Prince last night. I had thoughts on it, but I'll get into it in a minute. I read a little bit of this today, and I am up to page 630. There you go. 630 right now, so I'm gonna get to page 700 today at some point. That's my goal for the day. And uh, so far what's happened in it is um, that uh, Bill has found his bike silver and he went to McCamlin's house and fixed it back up and they're kind of talking back and forth about it. And now we're at the point where um, uh, oh my god brain part my half a slight headache so my brain's not working quite right uh, whatever his name is the big bully okay um it's literally henry bowers henry bowers there we go henry bowers is literally in like fort uh june for hill whatever the middle asylum for crazy people and stuff and he is, he's, we kind of follow his life here a little, little bit, see what it's like, it's not so good. And he ends up getting the voices from it, from the moon, basically. And now he's escaped. So, that's what's happened with him so far, and that's just about it. So, what's happened right then. Now, on to Clockwork Prince. Now, I first gave this a four star, but I think I may give it a three star only because um, it had a lot of drama in it. I feel like not really so much action in it because it was very drama filled, like with like the tri love triangle between uh, Tess and Will and Jim, and with the the um, the drama between Charlotte and the families between Lightwoods and the Herondales. Or listen, Charlotte, yeah, Lightwoods and the Herondales. So sorry if I messed up really bad, but like it's and like the scandal with um with uh, Jessamine going off with her with Tessa's brother and then them relaying the message having them work for Mort Main, having the guy who's trying to take down Elizabeth in the in the London Institute, him being involved with Mort Main and him being involved with like the demon people and all that stuff. It felt like it was more it was very is had more drama feels like more family drama in it than it than it is in with the Immortal Instruments. But like Immortal Instruments, they were solely they had that drama in it, like with the love triangle and and family stuff and you know teenager stuff. But also had like it had action in it where like there was actively something like they're actually running like, away from something. They're actually like fighting against something. Like there was something there, you know. Whereas like this one, it was like they're trying to fight Mort, Mort Main, but then he wasn't really as big big issue in this book I felt like it but um what bugged me the most is that how how like one day Tessa like been making out with the will right and then she's making out with, with with Jim but like she knows she loves will right but then she says yes to the only reason why she said yes to Jim's engagement is because he's sick and dying I feel like that, that was a little bit of a um I don't know, I felt like it's sad, you know, like, you love him, but you, you know, you love him more. Like, he finally now just confessed his love to you because, like, he has, like, this curse that he thought was upon him, but it's really not fake. But yet you're saying yes to Will because he's the only reason why he, you said yes because he's not. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but, um, I don't know what's gonna happen in the third one. I gotta wait on the third one because I gotta read this thing and I also gotta figure out what I'm gonna read for the month of November I'm gonna make that video and it turns out that I was leaving my footage from my whole completed video for my vampire collection my vampire collection video so I gotta read that at some point which won't be a while because I have to take all my Anne Rice books off my shelf which is a lot of books to take off and put them right back on so gotta figure that out um yeah so that's just about it. I gotta go to work at 2. And I still have a headache. I just ate, I ate some food, had some coffee, and I'm not drinking like a lot of water. Well, I'm not trying to drink too much water before I go to work. I don't have to pee like every 5 minutes, so that's not good. 
I'm thinking about my October, my November TBR. I'm thinking about reading, um, finishing Midnight Sun because I have not finished it. So, thinking once I get done with it, maybe I'll just go straight into this. So I'm like, I'm like halfway through it, so I could get done with it pretty quickly. And I also have some other stuff out, some things on my, on my Libby app too as well. That could be good, that could be really good. The short, I have, um, some graphic novels on here. I have The Walking Dead, The Mummy, and Miss Marvel. And I have also Black Flamingo, which is like a three and a half hour book, which I listened on it. I listened to it in two time feeds, which should be like two hours maybe, so that could be good. Listen to that on the side. It's really well to do, but I wish I had it physically, but that's fine. Um I guess I'm gonna stop rambling. I, I have nothing really else to say, but like this I may knock this down to a three star. And I'm not gonna put it back on my shelf. So and I think I PS, I think I have Chain of Gold on on my on my wait list so we'll see i will update you on that because i'm really want to get get to that one holds oh i got two weeks in the killing jokes so seven on that oh michael Crichton's the lost word i got two weeks on that misery oh wait no i don't how do i not have that hang on or is shana gold not let's look this up for a minute They actually said the reference Chain of Gold in, in this, like, a couple times. Oh, they don't have it on audio. They don't have it on audiobook, I guess. I'm saying, okay. Never mind, then. I don't have it on audiobook. But anyways, uh, that's just right up for, like, this update. I'll see you on my next one. If I'll update you if I get to page 700 today. Or if anything, like... A significant happens or if I get into more pages so peace out on this next one. Hey it's 1.15 about 1.15 in the afternoon on Friday. It's Friday. Yes Friday and this again I am on page 869 so, I'm going to make it to 9, page 900 today, hopefully, and maybe a little bit more, so we're on still, I'm still on track, it's nice, and so far, um, we've got a little thing with Patrick Hoxtetter, one of the bullies, we got a little bit more into his mind, how crazy he is, and a little bit more of the bullies, and we got to the part where, um, Eddie Kasparag's arm got broken, and how his mom freaked out, and he was like, no, they're my friends, blah, 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 that kind of thing, so, that's where we're at that right now. And right now they're, I believe now they're going to the house on Neville Street. So, some things are going to happen. But one of the things I want to talk about a little bit is that you don't realize how much of the majority of the book that the adults are just sitting at a table talking about their stories. For the majority of this book, that's what they're doing. Sitting at a table sharing stories of their childhood. That's what they're doing. And people also don't really kind of think of that he's telling, Stephen King in here is telling seven stories of, of, of seven new characters from when they were kids, from when they're growing up. So it's very detailed, intricate, and he's also putting in details from some of the bullies too, <coughs> as well. And so people wonder why this is, this is so big. It's so big because he's telling like seven different stories from seven different people from past and present and everything and also the details of like uh, two two or three bullies from like there he's also telling the story of Henry Bowers from childhood from past and present as well and he's also putting in some details of Derry too because he wants to emphasize the fact that the town of Derry is Pennywise the Clown as well like Pennywise the Clown is not just a clown but he's also whatever whatever people see him as so he is the town of Derry as well because he has a he has a hold over the town as well so he wanted to really emphasize the fact that Pennywise is Derry 
essentially, because he literally controls like all the adults, like you, like like um, like when Eddie was getting like pushed around and stuff, one of the adults started to say, "Hey, you back off!" But then Henry Bowerly Bower really stepped up and was like, "You go away!" and shoved him, and he ran away. And that was the works of Pennywise the Clown, emphasizing like having control over the adults. Like they, like they have, they don't see half the stuff that the kids see because Pennywise is making it to where they don't see it, you know. So that's the reason why he put like the stories with like the, the um like the interludes in here. Like um one and then like there the fourth interlude in interlude. That, those th those sections right there, that's the reason why those parts are set in there like that because he wants to really emphasize that, you know, to really drag back about well, this. You really get a sense of that Pennywise the Clown, it has been there since begin the beginning of time, you know, that kind of thing. So that's all I've really gotten since I've been, since I read it this is my third time going around with, around with it. So um, I gotta go work here soon that's the thing I'm gonna be doing and I really was sleeping so hard before I had to get up at 10 30 like it was so hard I don't even know why but for some reason like a five o'clock right and it was like restless but then I felt sleep really hard after that but um weird stuff um I can't think of anything else to talk about other than I can't wait to get to Midnight Sun after I get done, after I get done with this behemoth. Or I may just go straight into Harry Potter, so, like, that's all be easy and nice to, you know, I'll probably go into Midnight Sun, so I'm already halfway done with that. So, that'll be nice. Oh, and I, and I just uploaded my November TBR, so that's what's happened with that. That's all uploaded in, on the YouTube, so, that went pretty fast since it was a short video. So that was nice. I don't have to really worry about that. I have to worry about is putting this vlog together and putting it up. So that's quite great. So, um, other than that, I will update you on something that happens that's really huge or important. So, good afternoon. Hey, good evening. It is 6 o'clock at night. On Sunday. I know this is a little late to be vlogging, but um, I've in fact been cleaning the house, stuff like that, and yep. And I have my clips for this vlog together on my laptop, so it's ready to put it, be put together when I'm done. So I have on it, if you can see that, I have uh, two, 2 hours and 22 minutes on it. So really, I'm listening to it on two times speed, so I literally just have it be like an hour and 20 minutes on it. So I'm very, very close to finishing it. I'm going to try and finish it tonight. I'm going to power through it. I've been powering through it all day. And then I can be, be officially have said that I've read it three times. Three times, which that is more times than anyone probably can ever say, especially for that big of a book. And then I can kind of relax and, you know hang out for a minute so that's my plan and then tomorrow I'm gonna start get back into my studying stuff because the past couple weeks I haven't been feeling so great I'm just you know about myself and just you know having like just negative energy because you know work was negative for so long there for a minute and it just really affected me home at home and that kind of zapped my motivation to kind of get that going so I lost precious time there because I was down on myself for two reasons so which I mean I guess I, it's expected to happen here and there but um since I'm out of that I'm going to pick up and pick that back up and do that tomorrow and do my laundry and stuff like that so I'm going to start getting back into all that stuff get that ball rolling so that's my plan and then after all that settled I can start on midnight sun which is over here start on that and hopefully enjoy it and I think by the end of this I'm going to give it a five full five stars and I will get into that once I'm done finishing finish reading it because I have a whole bunch of thoughts on it because it's just it's such an amazing book honestly like 
people people really are probably just it's, it's so great like that's all i'm gonna put it as right now and i'm gonna listen to my book before i start eating dinner so i'm gonna start that right now so i will see you when i'm finished finished with it hey everyone um it's technic it's monday I know I said I was going to come back to you on Sunday and like update you when I'm done with the book. Well, I ended up finishing kind of late because I ended up watching like two movies and ended up having a really bad headache, which I still have today. I have a pain in my head for some reason. I think maybe I slept too much on one side of my head or something. I don't know. But um, that is still here. So, um, anyways, I did finish this last night. I can officially take out the bookmark that where I was. Or was Whatever I thought I was, and I can't find it. I don't know where it is. There. Okay, I finished this last night. I finished it. Now I can officially say I've read um, Stephen King's It three times. Now, the first time, I guess I really shouldn't count it because, um, first time, it's almost like I didn't read it the first time because it was, because I didn't realize how big it was the first time. I, the very first time I read it was like junior high school, so it's like uh, three years now? Three years? Three years? Yeah, three years. So. I didn't realize how big it was, I, I, I don't know why it would possess me to pick it up. I think it was because the movies were out and I heard it was moving. I was like, okay, I'll pick it up. And I was the very first one to, to check it out. It was, it, was, it was the black version, the all black version. It was the movie, very first movie cover, I think, that they had. And they had um, little Georgie with the little, little yellow brain slicker and with a little red balloon. I think it was Pennywise's face in the background right there. But um, anyways, first time I read it wasn't it. I... I, didn't, I thought, okay, I'm going to get through it, and then I read it, but I kept putting it down, right? And when you keep putting it down, it doesn't, you don't really remember everything you read, and then I really, then I powered through the really end of it, or I really skim read the end of it, really, when I finished it. I didn't remember nothing about it. Cause, yeah. Because I didn't realize, you know, how big and dense the books would, would be. Then the second time I read it, I read it audibly. Well, I started off reading it physically, because I was going to read a little bit every day. Make sure I did put it back down, but then I realized that this is going to take me 10 times longer for I do that. And I finagled my way of getting an audiobook for it. And then I read it, and I finished it, and this year, it's actually been a year, year ago, this week, that I actually got this book. Actually, last week when I got this book, actually. I think I began started reading it, which is kind of funny. But, um, now yeah, so I've read it three times, it, it, it's, it's, um... The reason why I'm giving this book five stars is because it's so intricate in the way it's written. It's so, it, it's, um, I don't know how to put it. It's, it's just, it's like genius. It's ingenious the way he, he wrote this book. Like he wrote seven, he, he written seven lives of these kids in their past and then also in their, in the present too. And they, and they towards the end, really towards the end, they, they go back and forth. But in the timelines, like, even like, in the middle, I should have saved, saved a spot for you, but I didn't. So, like, so silly. They could be, they could be like, saying, um, they went down into the barrens and, uh, Bill went to say, and then that chapter would end, and then it would go into, to the present, and Bill would say something in the present. That kind of thing. And it would go, switch me to timelines, but also, when they're, when they're grown-ups inside the sewers, and they're defeating it and actually killing it this time, and while that's all happening, um, like I said, dairy is it and it is dairy. Like, they're one and the same thing. Um, the town is also beginning to break down. It's almost like at the end of Carrie, when Carrie finally, like, has things explode and catch fire and stuff. But in this one, the, the Kandusky, Kandusky, I, this is the first time I've ever said that. So, the river that they talk about in this book ends up overflowing and they end up having, like, some sort of... Um, earthquake and like things fall through like the, the like the downtown area of Derry falls through and things are beginning to over flood and some houses in that area and you know, the toilets like explode and things like that and so as it is being killed parts of Derry the town is being killed off as well so that while they're down there doing that the town is doing this too so that further Okay, my dad was talking very loud to my nana. I'm sorry. Anyways, um, that just further lets us, that, that's like further, that just lets us know 
that uh, very is it and it is dairy like they're all one and the same and make, it makes it even more more real that that it was a that they were one they were all connected they were one big thing you know and that really that name really 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 reminded me of Carrie I don't know maybe if he thought of that name because of Carrie because in at the end of Carrie when she's you know walking down the streets everything's exploding and catching fire and everything like that but uh, that really reminded me of that too but not only that they the like just the way like they like Tom Robin like it, it the way he like thought of you know Tom Robin actually ended up almost like after after Henry Bowers dies it's almost like he becomes Henry Bowers in a way because it's almost like he gets his own thoughts and stuff and it's so it's just so mind-blowing of how, how he could tell seven stories of seven young kids in like 1956 I forget 1950 what 1950 what please don't there's a date I can't tell you the exact date but you know in their in their past and then also tell them of their present but also you know have the way that he tells the stories when when they're sitting on the table telling their own stories of their each encounter of it the basic majority of the story, like, they're sitting at a table just talking about, like, their past of how which encounter that they're having and how, like, they start getting, getting back their memories and all that stuff. And one thing I thought that was really sad is how that once they leave Derry, leave Derry, like, they're going to lose their memories of each other. And it's like, you know, that's kind of that's kind of mean, you know, because cause they went through all this stuff together with this big clown monster spider thing, right? That's been here since, like, the dawn of time, right? And they're just gonna lose their memories. Like they've went through all this together. They they've suffered and have lost their friends together, and now they're just gonna forget each other. But that's that's, all, that's really sad to me. Like I feel like no, that's not, that's almost not fair to them because like they're not gonna know like like you don't get friends like that. You know who are like willing to die for die for you. You know, and who are who are willing to make a promise like when they're like 12 years old and you actually come back and you know that kind of thing. I almost seen that's kind of sad, and when like Beverly and Ben get together at the end, it's like so. That's what I really want to know is like if they forgot about their memories in Dairy Lake, uh, uh, so is new memories gonna come up with them too? Like they made up memories, like how they met and all that stuff. I want to know that because I want to know like, like is he just gonna wake up one day like who the hell's this woman? That she's gonna wake up with who the heck's this guy? Like isn't that that's what I want to know? But uh, I found that really sad towards the end. But that, that's why I'm giving this uh, 5 stars because of that. Even though even with the creepy scene that's in the, in the unnecessary scene, we're not going to talk about it because we know what it is. We have a discussion of it and even when the first time I read it, I missed that part completely. You can think I want to miss that part, but I did because I skimmed right the whole end. But that, that, that whole part, and so we're, yeah, we're not going to talk about it. But, toward, but in the end, they end up having their seven of them. So Stanley ends up killing himself. And I think his was really the sacrifice to help them help them be more, to, bring them more together in the end. Kind of like, you know, in the Avengers where um, Coulson dies. And then Nick Fury helps them, uses that to help them become the Avengers. It was almost kind of like that, I feel like. But like, not, not like in a non-knowing way. And then we end up losing Eddie. So... So out of, out of out of the lures that survived, it's five of them. But in the sewers, in the end, Mike Hamlin is in the hospital, so they they leave with four people. So I feel like you know, like they lost like two people out of, out of their group, and it's like just so sad. And then Eddie had to had to stay down there because he couldn't bring them up, and that's so sad. Just like, okay, I'm back. I just, I just think that's so sad. Like, now he's so encased. He, he's just he's gonna stay there forever. Oh, and they found some of the bodies. Those the old kids too, and they're still kind of the same. And it was kind of creepy. And it's like, oh, ooh, kind of weird. But um, I guess that's the only thing I have to say. It's like just, just how how intricate the story is, and like people wonder like why is this so big? And it's because he's telling seven, he's telling seven stories of seven characters from their past, and to their present, and also in the end. He's also telling the story of it, because you, you actually, ooh, I totally forgot about this, you actually get the, the perspective of it, and that kind of thing, which is kind of messed up. He's just like this a turtle, he's an old man, he's so old, that kind of thing, but it's, it, was, it was very interesting how I got that, and I just realized that the light just got really dim, because of the sun. Sorry about that. Um, 
and also the the perspective of like everyone in the town towards the end so that's why this story is so big but that's why everyone loves it so much it's because like you get like such a big character build from all of these characters and you actually become to love them and care for them when towards the end when they're slowly forgetting their memories you're like why why is that right is that fair and, okay now i'm gonna stop rambling because i just you know i'm just gonna ramble on forever so this is actually the end of my reading vlog for this week and we finished we actually finished two books this week so this is actually a good this is a good day Woohoo! Um, I'm just, I'm going to exit now. I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading vlog. Hope you like, comment, subscribe, do all the things that you want to do. And hopefully I will see you on my next video. And I hope you guys have a lovely morning, day, evening, night, wherever you guys are in the world. And I'll see you next time.